Okay, I'm gonna show you guys some close-up footage. We're gonna do some through hole, which you can see right here. I've got all the components inserted. The legs are spread to retain it. Then the board goes on the microscope. And now I can get you guys up close and personal video footage to show you what is really going on when we solder these things. So we're going to start at this upper corner right here, and I'll work my way across. There we go. Okay, let's do this. I'm get a section of solder off. All right. There you go. Now you can really see it. Okay, so we'll start at this upper corner right here. We place the iron down on the via. And you see, this one right here is properly formed. Let's just go ahead and try it into this next one. Right there. And the via, get it hot, feed some solder in, pull the soldering iron away, another good joint. So let's see how well I can go through some of these other ones. It's really kind of tough to get the iron at the proper angle with this microscope. So if we do a side profile on all these joints, you should see that they look like a little Hershey's Kiss. This one right here, a little too much solder, or it didn't get down into the socket. What we're going to do is hold the iron on the socket, and you can see it bleeds down in properly. All right. So this last one right here, I'm going to add just a touch more. Okay, there we go. Let's do some of these. There we go. There we go. And if you see some of the solder getting on some of the adjacent holes, that is almost unavoidable because the angle that I'm holding this is so crazy to be able to get it all in shot for you guys. And if there are any solder shorts, solder, solder bridges between ports, that can all be cleaned up afterwards. That's easy. There we go. There we go. Oh, now you can see this one even better. So see what happens when I hold the soldering iron on it? It bleeds in, it corrects itself. You can see this one right here. Under the microscope, you can see that one right there needs a little bit of love. So in order to do that, I'm gonna hold the iron on it. Look at that, perfect. Let's do the one right behind it. Hold on, let me clip some of these leads off because it's getting a little congested. So what I'm actually doing is I'm clipping some of the leads that are already soldered, clipping them off. And in order to do that, we use something called flush cutters right here. 
and this allows clearance so I can get in and get the proper angle for some of these other ones because last thing I want to do is accidentally create a bridge. Let's go ahead and do these other two. I got what four more left to go. Yep, right there. You can see them all. So I'm gonna put the iron at an angle right on the via. Heat it up. Okay, so we checked the profile on those. The one that I wouldn't like is this very first one right there. You can see how it kind of formed a little pocket. So what I'm going to do is I'll angle it so I can get the iron in better. Heat it up and I can see that maybe a little bit more solder on that joint. There we go. Now check the side profile. Let me focus this guy a little bit, a little bit better. There you go. So you can see they're all perfect little nubs. Let me clip them off. And now we inspect. See, yeah, I got one raised one right there that didn't cut off flush. Okay. All right. Sutter did get on some of those extra ones. That's okay. We're going to do that now. We're going to go ahead and create some solder bridges. Oh, let's see. Where do I want to do those? Let's do them right here. Shutter bridge, shutter bridge. Actually, this is such a good uh, flux core solder that it's not forming solder bridges. It's got a wee bit too much flux in it. So, from the top view, you can see what I did. So, they're all looking pretty good. Hardly any seepage through to the front side, which is exactly what you want. You want a little cone on both sides. And on the back, they're all little cones. So that is through hole components. So now let's go ahead and do an up close and personal wire to wire solder so you guys can see what that looks like under the microscope. In order to do that, I'm going to use some of the same wire that I did in the video last night. Okay, there we go. I don't know if I'll get this under a microscope. Let's see. Yeah, maybe I can. Let's set it up under the microscope. Something like that, and something like that. Okay, I think it's gonna work. So, what you can do, I'm setting it up right here under the microscope so y'all can see. Just give me just a moment. This side. Okay. There we go. All right. And let's zoom out. There we go. That's going to come in real good. Okay. So that's what I want to show right there up close. Okay, 
So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tin the wires. Which I'm going to start with this back one. Always clean the tip. Then tin your soldering iron. Clean it again. Okay. So I'm going to start here on the back side and I'm going to tin this. So when you're tinning, don't move the soldering iron at the beginning. Put it around the wire. Put a little dab of solder on your iron to contact the wire. And you can see I'm running. Once it, once it turns liquid, that's when I'll run it down the wire. And you can see I leave that little glob of solder on there. And how I slowly pull the iron away. Slowly pulling the iron away is what will give you that glob of solder. And that is essential for this kind of method. All right. So you can see my outer, my soldering iron stays in one spot. And then I will slowly pull it away and there's a glob of solder. Okay. So I'm going to clean the tip. Now is the important part. So we're going to put these two wires exactly where they need to be. I'm going to show you guys what happens when we melt these and bond them together. So right there, they're next to each other. Put the iron on one. It bonds with the other. And you can see how I move my iron from side to side. Take a look at that connection. So you want to place the wires parallel to each other after they're tinned and then the glob of solder from one will start to melt the other and then they'll kind of bring the wires together. So this right here is as good as that gets. All right, let's take a look. So you always want to inspect your joints after soldering to make sure that you don't have any cold solder joints or on the underside, it could be not soldered. Now there is a bit of solder on this joint because those globs were kind of big and I can touch that up right now with a soldering iron to remove some of that. But for this particular one, for this demo, I don't think I'm gonna have to. You see right there, those two wires are bonded pretty well in parallel. Yeah, there's a bit of extra solder right there. But there's no sharp penetrations that will break through the shrink tube that's nice and rounded and yeah preferably I would remove some of that solder but that's really important you don't see any cracks I'm trying to keep it on the microscope for you there we go so you don't see any cracks you see the solder bled all the way through the wire and you can see extra flux that's that yellowish color that's on there So that is two bonded wires. Well, let me see if I can remove some of that. Some of that solder from there. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this again. I'm gonna clean up these wires. Which, see what I'm doing is I'm running the iron down it. It cleans up the wire, you see that? Leave just a, a little bit of extra solder on there. I'll take a look at this guy. See all that extra solder? We don't need all that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna touch my iron to it after I clean the tip. You can see how dirty that was. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is run the iron down the wire and back. You see that? How it cleaned it up. Okay, let's go ahead and set it up again so I can put them back together again, this time with the correct amount of solder. And you'll see, I'll get a really good bond again all right let's do it so it's right here this one in here okay It's gonna be really good. I'm gonna try and put them side by side so that you guys can see it really well, what happens. So right like that. All right, let's do this. So my tip is a little dirty. I'm gonna clean the tip. 
apply some new solder to it, clean the tip. Okay, here we go. Wires parallel to each other, melt it, run it down. You can see it bleed from one wire into the next. There we go. Look how fast that was. Let's inspect it under the microscope. Okay. So here is the redone joint with the correct amount of solder. There we are. It's really hard to get solder under a microscope because uh, it's so shiny. There we go. So what we want to do is check it for any cold solder joints. Just look at that. That is a perfect bond from one wire all the way through. I got good penetration into the wire, into the other. There's no sharp edges. We don't want any sharp edges on this because that will break through the uh, heat shrink. And there you go. So, it's really not that difficult to uh, bind wires, bond them together with solder. Just make sure that you treat both your wires and tin them correctly and leave a little extra solder on both of them. So when you put them next to each other, when you touch the iron to the first one, don't move the iron. Just leave it there for a moment until you see it go liquid. As soon as you see it go shiny and go liquid, that's when you move the iron slowly across the, the bond from one end to the other and it will bleed through and you can actually watch it bleed through both wires and then just pull your iron away and that's the result. Not so bad. <laughs>